Hello there, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials and in this video short I'm going to show you how to create some very simple text and place it on an image of your choice, pretty much as you see here on the screen. We've been asked a couple of times to do this and you're going to be able to do this without actually taking our video tutorials. You will need to download Inkscape, the link which is now actually on the screen so this will be very simple instruction, but if you do want to know how to create more effects or indeed do more with text, then I suggest that you subscribe to our tutorials. We will leave the details of that at the end of the video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to create text, move the text, apply some effects and then save your work. So having assumed that you've downloaded the Inkscape, program. When you double click on it, it will open any new document and look pretty much like this. And the first thing to do is to import an image of your choice. And to do that, we need to go up to File, Import. That will then search for an image on your computer. So we want Arctic Love. This is the two penguins. And double click there. We want to embed it just as it is there and OK that. Now you may have to increase the size of the image and the, the best way to do that is by zooming in on the image. So you click on zoom and then click. If you do that, don't forget to take the zoom function off and the easiest way to do that is to click the select button here. Okay, to create text, we simply click on this letter A and then click on the canvas to begin start to type our message. So greetings from Iceland, I think it was, wasn't it? So that's the text created. As with many other programs, if you want to apply some effect on it, you need to select the text first of all. This is no different. Go up to the select text, sorry, select function, and you will see these handles at the corner of the word. You know then that the text is selected. So we're going to apply a font style to that. And to do that, we go up to the View and Select Font Family. This dialog box appears. And simply scroll through to see what style you want for your text. You might want bold. And then you will need to apply that and then close. If you want to apply some color, again, keep the text selected. And look at the color palette at the bottom here. Let's choose red. This is the color palette, color palette, and you can go through the whole spectrum pretty much in that way. Let's choose that blue there. And we'll do the same for the greetings from. Select that blue there. I think it's the right one. And then go up to the text. Select teen bold. Apply it and then close. So we've got the text that we want. To move the text, again, we simply highlight it, grab hold of the mouse and the left finger and drag it to where you want it to be. If you need to resize it, just grab hold of one of these handles and move it in. If you want to make sure that the, the text is resized proportionately, hold down the control key like that. And the same for Iceland, select it using that key there and then just drag it and I think we'll need to just resize that a little bit and then place it wherever you want. So that's really all there is to it and that's all we're going to do for the moment but I do need to show you how to save this because it is slightly different to what you would normally um, do. You want to select all of it and the easiest way to do that is if you like lasso a rubber band around the entire thing. Keep your finger down on the mouse and just drag this rubber band around the image. Then go up to File, Export Bitmap, and then in the file name here, browse on your machine where you want to save this. I'm going to use Downloads. You then need to name it, Welcome Image, or whatever it is that you want to name it. Click Save. Now this last bit, if you don't do this, I click the Export button, 
then your image will not be saved. It's very easy to forget to do this, but if you do forget, the image will not be where you expect it to be. So click export, and that's it. Just one very quick thing to say about the, um, the font. The fonts in here are the fonts on my machine. So you may see something here which is not actually on yours. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to it. As I say, if you do want to sign up for our video tutorials, which includes Inkscape, then you can go to the uh, fan page on Facebook, the details of which are now on the screen. So till next time, that's all. Bye for now.